Hello everybody, Nathan here, and uh, today we're not doing a mind test mod review, and we're also not doing a modding tutorial. I know, crazy, right? Um, today we're actually going to be looking at how to file a good bug report. And now this is not directed at any single person or persons. This is not something that was requested. Uh, this is just something I want to put out there because I've gotten a couple bug reports on some of my mods that were pretty useless. Didn't really tell me anything. And I've seen people posting bug reports in the completely wrong areas where the problem's never going to be fixed. Like the comments on my YouTube videos on a mod review. It's like, well, you know, I'm glad you're reporting at some place, but I don't, this isn't my mod. I I, I don't know what the problem is. I'm not going to fix it, you know. So today we're going to look at how to do a proper bug report. So first off, here we are playing our game, walking around, admiring these beautiful cacti. You know, I want to pick this one. Ooh, ooh, ooh. That's not good. Major bug. Runtime error for mod, desert life, in callback, node on punch, node name is not set or is not a string. Well, that doesn't look any good. Okay, so what do we want to do? Well, we want to report this bug. So, we're going to open up our web browser here. And now there are two places we could report this bug to. And let me just type that in real quick. Um, there's two places we could report the bug to. We could do it to the mind test forums, or we can do it on GitHub. Now, I don't actually think that my Desert Life mod is on GitHub. So, yes, it is not here. So, because it's not on the form, obviously I can't report the bug here but for the sake of argument say it was um and actually let's just say it's the my months mod and actually somebody just reported a bug in this mod so we'll actually just take a quick peek at that um maybe it was on the last page i literally just fixed this error last night okay it's the last page um blah 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 blah, blah, blah. here we go snoopy left a comment or uh I, I guess not a comment but he wrote a post and he mentioned that i had a logistical or a conditional conditional error here of if it's not equal to or and it should have been an and so i changed that and then there was also an error with node name rather than node names so i got those fixed and this is this is one way to report a bug he in this case he actually did correct code to correct it and he could have actually just made a pull request on github because he clearly knew what was going on with the code this isn't so much a bug though that would have crashed anything it just never would have grown any of the plants that were supposed to be growing for this code because that condition was never met um so this isn't necessarily so much a a bug report like he got a crash and had an error message um but he reported it here I looked at it, happened to see it, happened to have some time on my hands, so I fixed the code right away. Now, of course, if uh, if I didn't have had time right away, there's always a chance I could have forgotten about it. So, let's say on GitHub, and I think this probably will not find it. Oh, wow. I am surprised it actually did. Okay, here is the the mod that I just crashed. Um, so on GitHub, what we would do is we would first, of course, sign in. Then we would go to that repository. In this case, Nathan Selva at Desert Life. We would click on issues. Say, well, there are no issues. We want to create an issue. So what's the title? Crash on digging prickly pear cacti leave a comment okay now our comment should have 
some of this code here now you can't copy and paste that however not to worry that code exists in another location if we go to the mind test folder and then go to debug Oops. now your debug file can get very large because it never clears itself so you could have a super huge file um, but here we go here's the error um, undeclared global variable ad accessed at this so I would copy this line and I want to leave a little comment saying what I was doing I was trying to harvest a prickly pear and got this error undeclared global variable ad accessed at that um, and then is there anything else we need to mention um, that's that pretty much tells me everything we could we could do this next line if we wanted we could do several lines but this is the really important one undeclared global variable because this actually tells me everything and actually I intentionally mess this up it's supposed to be an uppercase 80 um, then we might want to mention using latest version of mod and daily PPA build for Linux and then we would submit the issue I'm not gonna submit the issue because this error doesn't actually exist on the online online repository it only exists locally and it'll be fixed as soon as I'm done recording this video so it'd be silly to make this issue but I would make this and actually you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and make the issue because it's gonna give me a notification about it so we tell them what the error is we put the applicable error code in and then say what version of the mod and the version of mind test we're using because sometimes if you're using an older version of mind test you might get an issue because there's been an engine change and whatever it might be is no longer valid so now here I am and I'm looking at my notifications and actually because I because I made that issue I don't get a notification for it. okay that's silly had somebody else done the notification I would have gotten or had somebody else written the issue I would have gotten a notification for it so then I would I would see oh hey I have an issue on my mod and anybody else that visits this mod now if it's something where there's multiple collaborators writing it they can all see oh there's an issue crashing diggling prickly prickly pear cacti anybody can see this error and you know any one of the authors could say oh I can fix that fix it push a change and then generally speaking would say something along the lines of fixed in latest comet not vomit uh, sometimes you'll link to the comet number other things uh, in this case I'm just gonna write not an issue just for a YouTube video and then I would close and comment and that closes the issue change it to closed when we go to issues it now says there's zero just say there's one closed issue says it was closed um, and again if this wasn't my repository and I wasn't the one leaving the comments and stuff I would get a notification so then if you do this you put an issue on somebody's mod because of an error and they fix it and close it and then you'll get a notification saying that your issue is closed you know oh hey they must have fixed this go ahead and repull redownload whatever your method is of updating your mods and now the issue theoretically is no longer there um, it could also be closed if they can't reproduce it in which case it might be an issue with another mod or with a combination of mods and the mod itself runs fine without some other mod that's always a possibility so those are basically the two ways you want to report bugs either on github or on the forum I personally prefer github because you can't forget about it every time you visit your repository you see all of your issues right there whereas on the forum it's easy to read it like oh I'll get to that some more comments go in there it doesn't stay any place highlighted that hey there's an issue with this you forget about it and it never gets fixed so I personally prefer 
GitHub, but you can use either. Um, yeah, the big thing is just be detailed. Don't say oh, this mod doesn't work for me or this mod is crashing. That doesn't help anybody. We need to know the version of the mod, the version of mind test you're running, and then any kind of error code you can give us, anything about what you were doing when the game crashed, anything we can use pretty much to help us figure out what's going wrong and then get it fixed so you can have the best possible experience playing the game and using our mod. So hopefully at some point this helps somebody in making an issue. So um, yeah, we can continue to make the game better and better. And that's going to wrap it up. So catch you next time. Thanks for watching my video. Really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, would you consider giving it a thumbs up? I appreciate all those I can get. I'm on social media, peoples. Follow me. Google+, Twitter, Facebook. I always post all of my videos on those platforms, or links to my videos on those platforms, as soon as they go live. Which this means prior to the release on YouTube. You can watch them before anybody else. You can also visit my website, NathanSalpat.com, and see all my videos there. Really nice website, if I do say so myself. I did design it, so I might be a little bit biased, but I still think it's, it's decent. If there is a mod you would like me to review, just click on the Request a View button right there. Takes a two-form on my website. You just type in the information, hit the Submit button. I get it. I look at it. Record a review. Post it online. You watch. We all profit. The world's a better place. Yeah, I don't know about that last bit. But, hey, do it anyways. There's You got nothing to lose. I'll catch you next time.